Hello and welcome back to Runner's Fortune, the Pillars of Cypetia. It's been a little while since we played, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right. Well, if uh, we don't have anything else at the moment, then let's go ahead and uh, get started and do our recap. When we last left our adventurers in the house of an alchemist, they descend to the basement and find at a section room. In there, they are faced with a mimic disguised as a desk and two creatures made of blood. They dispatch of them, returning the desk to its regular state. On searching it, Xander finds a notebook detailing the way that the red powder and its mass dispersal system were created. Before the final formula could be revealed, the final page was ripped out. Xander takes the book. Edham finds a tank of blue fluid that appears to be for treating wounds. They collect what vials of it they can before proceeding to the next level down. They find themselves in what appears to be the main laboratory with two enchanting tables and a large green orb about two feet in diameter. Edham approaches the orb and touches it, channeling some magic into it. Shadows begin to swim inside the orb and Edham thinks about their camp on the island. An image forms, showing them their camp and the man of war sitting in the bay. They are able to determine that this is a scrying orb. Xander approaches it next and channels magic into it, thinking about the day previous and how the lizard upstairs died. He sees a very long-haired elf who they re recognize to be Rashak, arguing with the lizard man. He puts more power into the orb to try and see what they're saying. The ball starts to vibrate as he goes even closer, and he shifts into the body of the lizard man. The lizard man is scared because it's too powerful, and he won't use the red powder, but Rashak says it's what he wants it to be. The lizard man tells him to take the money back, and he heads to a safe hidden in a wall. He puts in the combination, and Xander makes careful note of it. He pulls out two bags from it and slams it shut, throwing them at Rashak and telling him to leave. Rashak walks to the desk and places his hands on it, taking something off it before heading back over tells the lizard man he wins and to leave. Then he holds a little vial of red dust and slams it down the lizard man's throat. He pulls his hand out and burns off the top layer of his skin to quickly regrow it. He takes the bags of money and walks away as the lizard man stumbles backward and falls onto the bed. Edham and Xander rush upstairs and open the safe in the wall finding two leather pouches with refined gold balls inside. They also find a secret compartment, and inside that, they find a rack of 30 green vials. Edham and Xander quickly both drink one. They both collapse to the ground in dire agony. They feel heat and steam coming out of their pores, writhing on the ground. It subsides as a faint red mist slowly settles to the floor. Edham grabs the rest of the vials, they get up and look back inside and see two more bags. Edham's has four diamonds, and when Xander opens his bag, a small puff of red comes out. He looks inside and sees six vials of the red powder. They head back to the main floor, and in the aviary, they find Rashak leaning against one of the cages with an enormous elder phoenix named Altaya purchased on top. In exchange for some of the red vials and some of the cures, Rashak promises that he and the Hex organization will not approach, will not speak to, will not interfere with their efforts, will not try to capture, will not touch, and will not harm Edom and his companions. As Rashak and Altaya leave, Xander and Edom rejoin the rest of the group. They decide to give some of the red vials and antidotes to Delit, some to Sipid and keep some from themselves. Edham carries out the scrying orb as the group leaves. Felix stays behind for a moment to remove his gaudy clothing and leave himself in just his dark armor. The group leaves the alchemist's house and returns to the Delet captured fort. They give a few of the antidotes and find that diluting the antidote doesn't have the same effect as they had hoped. They leave a few more behind before returning to the city of Opping. When they arrive, they go directly to find the enchanter but are brought before the base commander and lord of the city instead. Upon being brought before him, he asks them one simple question. Why did my master enchanter run off with a new staff and sword just 
after you last spoke to him. And that is where we begin. All right, and welcome back. Is everyone ready to get started? Yes. Perfect. Do we need roll 20 open right now? Uh, not this second. <laughs> Depends. What are you going to do? Well, I was going to ask him a question, but I changed my mind. I sent you some uh, new images for Felix last session. You did. I have not made yep. adjustments yet. That's fine. Dog and brooding. <laughs> um, <laughs> you said right. he's just depressed the stage so, of his life now. You all are uh, it's midlife standing uh, in front of uh, <gasps> Grandmaster Eugerald. And uh, he looks a little perturbed at the moment. So do I. <laughs> Yeah. He, he ran off with our magic items. Hmm. Well, oh, they were your magic items. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. We. He's gonna identify them for us. We were doing a mission for him. I see. Well, we'll exchange. And what mission might that be? To go yeah. to the forward camp and figure out what the hell was going on. Hmm. And your report? Della took over. And they were poisoned. Huh. Good. Looks like Serves uh, the bastards right. Have we given any vials to these guys yet? No, you have not. I don't think we were going to. Yeah. <laughs> were we? Yeah. yeah. We, okay. we have four left. Yep. Uh, I'll take two out of my pouch. The, we found also the origin of this poison, and it looks like it was... A third party that hmm. would use this indiscriminately. Good work. Mm. And, and he uh, takes it up, inspects it, sets it back down, carefully ushers for an ape. You did you pass some uh, cure? Two of the cures, yeah. Of the cures. Don't we also have the book too of how to make it? We do have the poison, though. No, no. No, I know. I just we also don't have the code to read it because it's in code, wasn't Correct. it? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So you could work to decipher it, um, but we yes, don't know it what it says right now. Not currently readable. We did say that. My bad. It's right. Oh, that's right. Forget I feel so you just gave him antidote. Yes. <clears throat> so instead of motion to the aid, he uh, stands up and turns around, walks over to the wall, and there's some definite fidgeting. And panel opens up. Panel closes. And he comes back over. You wouldn't happen to have any of this poison, would you? Do I still? Yeah. Um, how many unbroken vials of it? Only one of them was broken. Correct. Yes, but there how was, many unbroken there was vials? Five. It was a total of six. And five were... How many did they give to him? Give to the elf because I gave you gave him poison like, as well. I think you gave you him did. two. Um, <clears throat> I think I don't know. Sorry, that was the one. So you gave him three red vials. Okay. Did we give any to Delit yet? Not the red ones. I don't okay. think. We haven't played for five weeks, and it shows! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Need to double-check some of the notes. <laughs> See exactly how much... Why um, it's nice to have the notes. So, there were six vials, one of which was cracked. Yep. You gave Rashak three, so you have two, and I'm, then... I put it into a... You did take the broken one and transfer it to it. But you have two untouched and one transferred. Okay. Uh, It's possible you might have contaminated something in the process. But um, you do have definitively two guaranteed. Tentatively take, carefully take out one of the red ones as well. Uh, Don't have any more of these. And it is air based. So. Take a big whiff. (laughs) Waft it in. I'll leave it on his desk. He'll uh, 
pick it up and uh, <clears throat> I'll look up into the sky for a moment or just up into the, to the ceiling a mo moment later someone comes in from the door behind you uh, it is an elf in decent armor looks to definitely be a soldier maybe a minor officer kind of level and uh he reaches into his desk and pulls out a small little tray uncorks it and tips out a small bit of it maybe an eighth of it onto it inhale deep soldier oh um and the soldier will, with only the barest look of confusion on his face, take it and snort it right up. Really? Like a lot of cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> really get your nose in there. <laughs> um, nothing seems to happen. Um, 30 seconds pass. But a minute passes. <laughs> and then you see blood start to come out of the uh, There it is. Tear ducts. And then one of the ears and the elf just and, and starts to shake a little bit. And then falls onto the floor in full convulsions. And just shaking. And the blood is now pouring steadily out of every orifice on eyes, ears, nose, mouth, just coughing on his own blood. How many antidotes do we have left? Uh, two. Do we know if you have to drink the whole vial? Uh, yes. You do? No, you can't. We, we each took one when we when we had well, you, and you we did test it. Right mm -hmm. So we did test it on the um, outpost. We gave them some and said, "Here's." I want to say we said, "Here's three, one for you," and try and um, dilute one of them, and it didn't work. But I would like to walk not up. Not sure how heavy of a dose anyone got or anything like that. You also diluted in water. Maybe it needs to be diluted with alcohol. There's. Can I you, kill? you guys tested one out of his misery. option out of potentially thousands You're use, of we have, possibilities. So my notes say I have two antidotes, 28 antidotes, two vials of red poison. I don't think you took away from one. I don't know. If there was there was like racks of that cure. And I remember you literally grabbed the duffel bag and you ran. Really want to use, I mean, that's fine. You can use one. Okay, but yeah, there so was 28. There were a After total you two of took them. 28. Yep. <clears throat> total 28 vials. How many did I get? After you each took. Um, you gave. You then gave 15 yep. antidotes to Rashad. 13. Leaving you with 13. And then um, a 6 to Delit. 6 to Delit, so that's 5. Between the. Four that Ozazel still has on him. Two has already been sent with Delit. Um, so that's six. Leaving with seven left. You left three at the outpost. Two of which have been used. One, they were going to see what they could try to synthesize anything. Leaving you with four. Okay. Of which you've now given two. 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 Yeah. So you want to use one of the two that we have on a nameless person who at any point in time is going against Delit. We have somebody who is trying to create a stronghold in Delit. So instead of wasting a potion, a cure on him, just put him out of his misery. So can I... We also don't necessarily know if it would work on them once they get to this point. Can, can I... Th I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to watch. Can I sh like think really loud in my, in my brain and try and just kind of like eyeball to eat them? I'm trying to get his attention, like mental talk, like 
talking brain. Yes. <laughs> I think he's. That's plucking. what Xander's doing to you. <laughs> no, it's more subtle than that. But uh, it's a uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Not as intense. <laughs> Just that nine thousand yards there. Like this. <laughs> well, more like. Move, move you like go down about another two inches because you know two inches. Okay, just two staring feet. At his, staring at his chest. <laughs> <laughs> you just slowly look up. Hey, Sam. Look at me. <laughs> gonna say you know I think he threw the other one out the window and I wonder if he's trying to draw out more from us because he thinks we have more. Just, I guess just better to play I'm, it off. I already. I'm not doing anything. I want to walk up and hit him. Ozzizzle is going to take a step forward, kneel down, oh, and uncork up. one of his God damn it. vials. God damn it! And he's going to pour about a quarter okay. down this guy's throat, and he's going to recork it and try to hold him in place. He's about ready to smite his ass. Oh, oh. <laughs> Um, he has been this whole uh, physicality check. I would like to pull the staff off my back and put it in a fighting combat style. Hey, did you want to this one? Did you want to pull the smite thing? Yes. Okay. I did. Uh, so in order to use smite now, you're going to need the channel divinity, which is in the passives. Okay. Just read it and it'll make sense. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. You did get better than Ozzisol. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Ozzisol got an eight. <laughs> um, he did not roll very well. I just want to be in the background giving a death glare to the commander. But, um... Would you like to join me in the death glare? 30 seconds. A minute. A minute and a half. In the season. Slows, stops, and the soldier takes in a shaky breath. I'll stand back up. To which point the commander draws his sword, walks over, and stabs it right through the head of the soldier. You son of a bitch! What the hell was that for? Did you waste on your men like that? It was an experiment, and it <clears throat> would have brought down morale in the camp had he survived and been healed by someone random just to tell how I poisoned him. And Therefore, elimination was the easiest option. Now, if you all don't desire to become on my elimination list, get out. I don't want to kill this guy. He's going to look up towards the ceiling again. Three more soldiers are going to come in. Takes the palms while he used the little bit of and takes the full one. When you only handed him one, he takes the, the vial. You get our best people on replicating this. I don't care what you need to do. I think I want right more. You two, get him out of here. He yanks his sword back out of the floor and the soldier's head. How far away is he? Towel. 15 feet. Can I Eldritch Bolt the bottle? Uh, target that small, this will definitely be disadvantage. That's fair. <laughs> uh, before I do this, can I mentally say into their heads, and I will roll a psionics if I need to, hold your breath. <laughs> yes, you will definitely need to make a psionics check for that. Uh, 16. You hear it, you know. I'll relay. Okay. Do I have to hold my breath because I'm a living construct? 
I don't breathe. breathe. Your, you don't breathe? It says you don't breathe? It says, yeah, it says you don't eat, drink, or breathe. And no. <laughs> Good thing I have a nice bonus. <laughs> Uh, 14 plus 8. 14 plus 8? 22. 22. Okay. You uh, send an Eldritch Bolt, and you hit the soldier's hand, and cries out and drops it. Catch it. Can I shadow reach to catch it? <laughs> uh, physicality checks. The uh, soldier is going to try to dive for it uh, with his other hand. Can I immobilize the soldier? Um, That's okay. possible. Make a athleticism check on which one of you will get to act first. Whether he'll get to try to reach for it first or whether you'll get to immobilize him before he can reach for it. Okay. Just a straight athleticism? Yep. Okay. Five. Six. Ah. <laughs> so he will get to and then try to grab it first. <laughs> so you might freeze him as he's grabbed it. Okay. Um, that's even if he's able to grab like, it. Yeah, like actually grab it. And then go ahead and make your attack roll. Okay. Okay. Uh, 21. 26. Not 20. Oh, no. Is that for mine? Is that for mine too, or is that a different roll? No, that was you still roll for your oh, whatever oh. attack you're making to immobilize him. I should probably still roll the damage that I did to him too, because uh, Eldritch Bolt does damage. Yeah, yeah, just in case. Yeah. Oh, just roll for straight, just for damage, damage. Uh, no, roll, roll the hit with roll whatever. The, okay. Um, cool. Uh, five power. Wisdom says whatever. Twenty-two. 26. Okay. 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 Against? Uh, will, willpower. That will hit. Um, okay. So, uh, he grabs it with his other hand as his first hand is hanging limp. Oh, God. Um, held by a few sinews uh, from that much damage dealt right to the back of the hand. But he has grabbed it and is now just locked in place like this. <laughs> Can I do an action? Yeah. I'll cast command on him. Okay. <laughs> oh. You want me to charm him first. Spicy. You can do whatever you want. No, it's fine. Go ahead. Okay. Roll the hit. Seventeen against full power. That'll succeed. I'll send out a mental. How far is his hand above the ground? Three feet. Do you have to break it if you dropped it? Yes. I'll mentally say, "Hold your breath," and then command it drop. He can interpret it however he wants. Mm -hmm. He will... Because he's immobilized, he can't drop himself. His other hand doesn't have anything to drop. (laughs) Nick, let him... Therefore, he will open his hand. To drop what he's holding. And it will fall. Where the Grandmaster is going to dive for it. Oh dear. Can I try and grab it again with Shadow Reach? Or is there not enough time? Um, you can try again. Can I use a reaction? Yes. Against this? Physicality, right? Yes. Twenty-seven. 
I would say reflect. Can I? I don't. I don't know if I have time to use arcane trick. No, at this point only reactions yeah. or split second. Uh, what what did he roll? Did he roll natural twenty? No. Okay. Just a twenty seven. I would say reflect, but I don't know how that would work. Is Valera doing anything? Me. <laughs> <sighs> Is she just watching? <laughs> She's watching. She's could loving I, the hell out of it. Could this. I try to reflect sure. his hand from grabbing it? By using reflect? Is he reaching past me? He's kind of on the opposite side of the vial from you. Okay. Um, is he reaching towards me? I will allow you to... He's reaching towards you. Um, yes. You can use Reflect. Against opposed? So that'll be against his 27. Okay, that's... uh. Oh boy. That's a big boy. 27. <laughs> you have luck also, you could re-roll. That's a 27. Okay. I rolled an 18 plus 9. Uh, tie would be to defender, which in this case would be him. I'll use a luck. Okay. Is the um is the equal the number is the power skill is that like the straight ability you pumped or is that the number that comes out? So you know your powers, how many you can have? Mm-hmm. Sixteen. Um Alzasol is going to try to parry him. Do it. Ooh, damn. <laughs> I don't think I have anything that will help with me more at this point. I can't do anything at this point because I've attempted to grab it, correct? Correct. Yeah. And Azazel comes in with a 34. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> Man just came out here and just say, My physicality is nowhere near high enough to do this. <laughs> Azazel's flambered <laughs> yeah. whips out and just <laughs> slices the tendons on the Grandmaster's hand and it, his hand falls limp and the vial crashes to the ground. Yeah. Wouldn't I be able to catch it if his hand went limp? Because my hand was technically there, and if his roll is no longer is null and void because of that. So then I would have technically caught it. If this is all happening simultaneously at the same time, I would have them roll off and see who goes first. Well, I'm just asking. I mean, it's fine. I'm just so with this all happening at the same time, you two lunged, lunged at the same time. Um, okay. So your hands basically collided. His okay. one out. Or okay. Yours, Azazel's sword got in the way. Yeah. So if you want to leave your hand there, you're going to risk Azazel's sword going through it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Michael might have. Button. Can his sword cut through metal? Yes. Damn. <laughs> never mind. Okay. Then never mind. Metal <laughs> armor exists. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Never mind. I just I had to ask. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I see. Um. All right. There is a of red dust that immediately just fills the room. I'm going to grab my collar and let my, my shirt and do this. I'm going to say I left the capybara outside for this. <laughs> I'm holding oh, back. I thought you would like set I that out loud like I left breath. the capybara outside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you guys have only been holding your breath now for ten seconds maybe, so you all are still just... Fine, holding your breath. Don't think need to make we need any to GTFO. To... <laughs> yeah. How many alive people that are not injured are in this room currently? Not injured. Three. Is the grandmaster still? He's injured, but Basically. he's still alive. I hope he got a good and the, whiff of that shit. I mean, it was probably like the right captain's also in his face. Good. He might have yes. Not okay, so there's in three them. regular soldiers. So okay. There's three regular soldiers. The grandmaster's. Basically uninjured, um, and then one soldier basically doesn't have a right hand, and then two other normal soldiers. Um, what is the? Are we in a tent? 
No, you are um, in a permanent building. Okay. Um, you're in you are in an office in a permanent building. Um, and now you all get to see what happens firsthand, close contact, as the um, two soldiers' eyes pop. Oh, God. Um, and blood just gushing out of their faces, actually from all three of the soldiers, and they just immediately fall to the ground and seize for about five seconds and then lie still um, in a pool of their own blood. The Grandmaster, who was about yay far, stands up. And turns to face you all. Eyes bloodshot. Hand reaching for his sword. There a window in here. Grabs hold of it. There is. What floor are we on? Uh, the third. <laughs> is there a door? There is. I'll the one you guys came in through. Okay, so a hallway. I... And it stops. And just... It, his muscles are all tensing. He's fighting back something, you can tell. And then a cough, and just a massive glob of blood splurts out. And then you see the blood starting to trickle out. And then he repeats the same thing. And seizes. And he's not stopping seizing. It's been another 20 seconds. Uh, you guys have all been holding your breath for about 35 seconds. Still no worries yet. Guys, we gotta go. Can I walk? Go. He's the one who has the antidote, right? What did he do with the antidote? Something on Something the wall. Something in the wall. Yeah. Oh. I missed that part then. My bad. I mean, I'm just going to go to a wind... Uh, I'm assuming there's still red stuff in the air, huh? Yeah. I don't have to worry about breathing, so I can look around in here for something. Go you for go it. To, you go go for that, bud. <laughs> but he puts I was going to turn. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the door. He's going to look at you all. I'm right on his tail. <laughs> I'm, I'm nipping at his heels and, at this point. He's going to walk the other way. Uh, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to levitate over the body. Uh, does he have any markings on him? Officiating his office as like the Grandmaster. To, would you like me to inspect him? I'm just looking quick. Like, five seconds. Um, yes, uh, he does have um, insignia on shoulder plate. No rings, no necklace. Uh, not that you see under quick inspection. Maybe something underneath the armor. Later. <laughs> Do we want to burn this building down? I mean, this is like the Capitol building. Yeah. That doesn't mean I can't vanguard lighting something and <laughs> ignite a fire. That doesn't mean it's not flammable. There's a lot of wood Just, around here. This is not a small building. This is a, a large. It's bigger building, bigger fire. Fair enough. You could Fair put enough. a pillar I'm, of flame. Is, are, are me and Az outside the doorway from the, the red... But you are Articles. outside the door at the moment. The door is still currently open. Uh, okay, well, we I'm gonna through, go through a which down the hallway. It's, uh, you know, now letting red dust out of the room. Just, you guys don't know how big of a thing it was that infected yeah. an entire fortress. We should We're, leave as fast as we fucking can. You might be about to infect this entire think, city. I think we should you know. burn it down because I think that'll be more likely to not. Infect everybody. You'll say, "Hey, Az, how are you? How do you oppose a little arson?" <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, where's the where's the nearest like? I mean, okay, what's the what's the inside of this building made? We're on the top floor. Wooden. You are. So I know where you're going, but so meteor the type is fire. Can it <laughs> actually spread fire? Oh, I was gonna pillar of flames this bitch. I was going to Vanguard Lightning the wall and just ignite. (laughs) This man's not a bandit caster anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I mean, for what you're trying to do, I would let you do that. Because you guys can do that 
as you're going down, like your pillar of flame, you can put it on the bottom and I yeah, can put I was it on the do top it on the and then it can just that kind makes of... makes sense. Works for me. Alright, well, we haven't done a meteor in a while, so... <laughs> I haven't done a meteor. Get a, get a meteor in. I haven't meteored in a while. Wanna watch? <laughs> so... On that note, um, Azazel is going to Dragon Rush. <laughs> I'm gonna get down What's the that stairs. Is that just real quick? Speedy Gonzales? Uh... Yes, but all targets that you move within 10 feet of take fire damage equal to your armor skill. Okay, I'm going to be... He's going to light the hallway on fire as he's sprinting down. I'm so. going to run after him. <laughs> so that's a 28 to the, the wood floor. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that will hit. I would hope so. That will also hit the walls. Yep. So I can turn my standard into a move? Yep. And my minor into a move? Uh, no. No. The standard to move, move to minor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just really but you see. could dash at three times your speed by taking your entire turn. Just sauntered out the, <laughs> the hallway. Um, yeah, no. Straight. Dash it straight out. Perfect. Anybody taking any kind of action right now? I'm just wind sprinting after as. <laughs> uh, make a physicality check to continue to hold your breath oh. during extra exertion. Oh. Including the casting of spells. I'm so glad I don't have to breathe. <laughs> I can literally just stand in it. <laughs> um, I would like for you Even to Even if I make it all the way downstairs before I cast. Wisdom check. Me? No, me. Uh, uh, he has to. To remember to not open your mouth and to actively push a little bit of air out your nose so that... You aren't letting any of it into your orifice. Just because just you can't breathe doesn't mean it can't 24. get into your body. Okay. Cool. Just Good any one of my wisdom skills? Yeah. Okay. Is there a window nearby? There is. I'd like to jump out the window after I cast the meteor. Okay. Yeah, All I'm right. Get downstairs before I do anything. Real okay. Here. I assume I still need to Superhero pose check. with the steps. Yes. Okay, I got six. Okay. Well, now we got to go find that. 18 physicality. Okay. And how far? How many feet to the exit? Um, 150. I really feel like you should just make an e tom pose out the wood. Where the hell's my? There's my physicality. I ran like a hundred and what? Thirty-five what's, feet. What's your speed? Forty-five. Yep. I ran hundred and thirty-five feet. Yep. So you're 15 feet from the exit. I'll just leave. <laughs> I'll just leave. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later. Thanks. Uh, yeah, Azazel is I'll pick up the capybara on the way out. Just open the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, open the door. <laughs> you open the door so politely, then you just close the door behind you while everybody else is still running down the stairs. Uh, Azazel is at uh, double speed right now, uh, and that will be... Um, he is flying, so that is 120 feet for his... Uh, Rush here. Um, I picked up the Kepi bar. <laughs> just the whole thing. <laughs> Look at your shoulders. What was your physicality check? Twenty nine. Okay. <laughs> I I cranked physical. <laughs> he talked about it. <laughs> Do I need to roll to hit with the pillar of flame? It's only good time. Yes. Okay. I need to make sure the spell doesn't fail. That's fair. So go ahead. Um, three, Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. About 40 feet out of the window. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I have enough resistance. Okay. Stories isn't 40 feet. <laughs> it was like, just roughly counting for like break my extra height. Scary difference. 30, right. 35. Um, Ooh, 30. 35. Make an armor check for me. Armor? <laughs> yeah. Okay. See if you pass off the ground. <laughs> That's going to be a 23. Okay. You take one point of damage. Um, you skinned your knee. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that stupid rock! Hit my pinky toe. <laughs> God damn it! No, you didn't take damage falling, you just stubbed your toe on the walk out. No, I, when we were walking back, apparently I got a rock in my shoe. <laughs> it didn't come into effect until now. Eat hump's fucking rock. <laughs> my rock's smooth. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh wait, I have a lockbox full of healing gear. 
<laughs> for healing goo? Yeah. Yeah, it was something that I pulled out of one of the things in the hut. Oh. <laughs> I put it in a lockbox. It's a strange goo. We don't know what it is. It's just her. It <laughs> sloshes around when she walks. <laughs> the external healing goo. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so. <laughs> That's what it sounds like when Kasika drinks people's blood. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to need everybody to make another physicality check for those that desire to keep holding their breath. Do oh, I see any red mist around me when I'm outside? You don't see any red mist around you, no. I'm just going to keep holding my breath. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, roll for Geneva Convention, because we're about to just start. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? 13. Okay. I rolled a mother 18. Okay. 14. Okay. I'm not holding my breath. Wisdom check. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> don't breathe. That's a 25. Don't open your mouth or... <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> you said physicality and breathing. Yeah. You forgot wisdom. That's a 25. Okay. Um, also, so is going to dragon rush again. Uh, this place is definitely lighting on fire. Um, I wonder how many people are in here. Besides it doesn't matter at this point. At <laughs> Just casualties at this point doesn't I mean, matter. I would hope that they would start to smell the smoke and <laughs> That is but. implying if they weren't already having seizures, they'd die from I mean, bleeding. <laughs> mercy killing. Thank God this building hopefully doesn't have central air. <laughs> and as Azazel is then sprinting out, Azazel will take up the rear, make sure that everyone else is in front of him. Much obliged. Um, you all watch behind him as this flame that's around the walls then and you watch this channel of flame shoot back down the hallway and the room above you explodes jeez <laughs> oh sweet Vulcus <laughs> hope you didn't say that so again because you to take your breath no <laughs> your I'm mouth. just thinking it <laughs> where are we whereabouts are we right now just outside the door. Okay, oh. so my pillar of fire went up in the middle of the... Okay. Yep. Um, Jeez. The windows all blow out and flame spews out of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it may be safe to assume that that powder might be flammable. <laughs> Just... The Little red thing bit. is fire related? Whoa! <laughs> I really hope we didn't just make based. it worse. <laughs> oh, we totally made it worse. We, we totally made, made it worse. A smoke cloud that's going to go all over. <laughs> just get outside. <laughs> Somebody might want to let Delit know they need to maybe evacuate <laughs> this area for the I next. I think we're going to need a 500 mile perimeter here. Hey, brother, I didn't so... realize we were going to start war crimes today. <laughs> That was next week's docket. <laughs> we'll leave that out of the notes for the parents. Yeah, Dad's not gonna fight about we this basically one. Basically, <laughs> turned a campfire into a grain fire. Yeah. Oh my! It's oh yeah, real bad. Yeah. I think we should keep going. Yeah, we're just going, I'm not gonna stop. As we leave town, you guys might want to get your fire department on that if you have one. If not, um, and don't let them breathe when they're close. Sorry. <laughs> have you burn. invented gas mask yet? Because you might need one. Or I, two. I think that we might have just <laughs> fucked up <laughs> by our ping. <laughs> our ping is off guard. So, so, okay, Oz, you got your map of Saipan. You just put an just, X on just that Just an X town. across that map. <laughs> so in your next report, that you said to your lead, that you said to the HQ, you're just going to be like, our ping? Don't ask. It's off. <laughs> Oh, like a promotion going I forward? Have eliminated Opping. <laughs> Whatever happens in Opping stays yes, in Opping. The city. <laughs> yep, the whole city. You might want to just get some like mud and just wipe it on there. Just take it off your map to get all together. Don't go that way. It's fine. Salted. Uninhabitable. Danger. Do not enter. Do not come within 500 miles. Avoid at all costs. Send prisoners of war here. Good thought. <laughs> 
<laughs> if we didn't, if we weren't running out of the hold, I would just immediately chisel on the outside of the door the uh, the opping exclusion zone and just run away. <laughs> so, so we've, we've, what do you want to do in this moment? <laughs> Are we still running? Because out of this room, this building that is. Uh, I, and exploding. I am still booking it for the fucking entrance to the hold. Like, I am just booking it. So we've destroyed their tavern. <laughs> and we've not destroyed their capital building. So we killed a bunch of their soldiers, killed their commander, and destroyed their embassy. Perfect! Not cab-level remodeling of the town, but still close. <laughs> I, I just think we should keep going. Yeah, at this point, there's... I don't want to stop. Are you all going full sprint? Um, I think we should stop and just walk real slow out of the main. <laughs> yeah, like, just nothing happened. Hands in oh, no. pockets, just. Cool <laughs> guys. Slow with the explosion <laughs> behind us. Cool <slow laughs> guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> yeah. No. We walk we real slow in front of them. <laughs> I mean, we the don't want to set alarms off if we run out. <laughs> so we might as well just be like, whoa. What's going on? Yeah. But you gave me your you gave me your your your, your clothes right when you changed no. you your stuff. Nope. Oh. No, he left them at the hut. Oh, I left them at the hut. Darn, I should have taken your hat. Maybe I heard of Monica. Should have just taken your hat. <laughs> if I knew we were gonna go going. Down, all right. Probably not way. full sprint. Are you all uh, still holding your breath? How far are we away from the building right now? <laughs> Five feet. Maybe still holding. Yeah. Still holding. <laughs> I'm gonna make us roll again, aren't you? Um, not if you're just walking away at the moment. Okay. Um, you are <clears throat> starting to feel some strain. Um. Let's say we're gonna, like, I would say fast walk. We're not, like, sauntering. We, like, fast walk, <laughs> hold my breath, like, kind of look casual. You, you are about a 20-minute fast walk from the nearest city exit. Oh, fuck. How about if we were running? Why don't we all just disperse and then meet back at the front? <laughs> I was just going to look around. Point at a group of horses. Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so you realize that you can speak to my brain? But this right. Is, this is right. Like... And I can relay like messages. Ladies and gentlemen, as his own. Uh, yeah. And a few words. He's going to go to the horses. Definitely my, going to the horses. My psychic brain is trying to get to the local Discord server. <laughs> <laughs> we all should join in with my psychic brain Just and we all talk bling. to each other. <laughs> Paging. Eat hum. Paging. Eat hum. <laughs> eat hum. Pick up, damn it! <laughs> Azazel has joined the channel. Wave hi. <laughs> Just that Discord ringtone. <laughs> Alright. Um, How many horses are there? 20 or 30. Oh, okay. Where I'll find oh, yeah, it's a capital. The one that'll fit me. I, there's quite a few um, Clydesdale size. I was about to say, <laughs> so the Clydesdale's there. <laughs> Even then, you're also not that heavy. No. So, while you certainly couldn't ride a pony... <laughs> Now I really want but to see that. You ride a donkey. <laughs> you, uh, it's head Side might saddle. fit under your crotch. <laughs> it's like what's his face from uh, Elden Ring. It's uh, what's his, I can't remember his name. No, the big guy with the horse. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, Doesn't matter. Moving on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Side note. <laughs> Felix was like to shape shift into something smaller than the cabbie pot. I recommend full gallop. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have to tell me twice. I'd like everybody to make a ride check, please. Okay. Ooh, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> See, I, <laughs> I put points into this skill for some reason. Eight. <laughs> Seven. Ten. <laughs> we suck our head of horses. Thirteen. Okay. We Do I have a minute to think <laughs> on this? No. <laughs> I am using memory of a thousand lifetimes. There you go. Actually, also is going to luck this. That's a good uh, idea. Yeah, 20. I'm going to try and luck that to too, because I feel like 8 might yep. get me falling off. That's a little better. Can I, I switch and use my perform instead of the ride? No. Damn it. <sighs> I got 13 instead of... Okay. Wait a minute. Where was that at? <coughs> 33. 33. Perfect. Damn. Well done. Um, all right, you all kick your horses into a flat out sprint. Um, what did you get again? Seven. Seven. Perfect. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you uh, round the first turn at a breakneck sharp speed. Uh, 
getting onto the cobblestones. You will jerk your horse's head too far. Your horse is going down. Oh no! Fuck! Can I try to pull him onto my horse? With a high ride check? Do you have a skill that you would like to uh, use to kind of augment this? Could I, could I try and jump off the horse like as it's going down? You, you will have the uh, opportunity to react to this in a moment. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Yep. You still um, have that one. Also, so it's going to use recover. Oh. Did you not have any looks to reroll? No, I only had one, and I used it like a while ago. <laughs> you should have put some of your points I into that. Uh... I'm gonna put points in ride going forward. <laughs> You're gonna put all those points in ride. Um, so that will be a twenty-four, <laughs> which think. is enough to overcome your lack of ride. Um, <laughs> your lack of, of ride. My family had horses. I walked everywhere. <laughs> so he teleports you. <clears throat> Mid fall up onto the back of his horse. Whoa! Eat <laughs> oh, oh. him? Or Azazel? Yeah, because Azazel has recover. Okay. <laughs> I don't have recover. <laughs> Protecting tank. Yeah! And we keep going. <laughs> Thank you, Oz. Uh, I think at this point I will stop holding my breath. Yeah, I'll stop holding yeah. mine too. I think we're in a decent enough distance and pace. But we are still definitely trying to get out as fast as we can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you are now riding along the um, uh, the road. Um, I would like everybody who is currently in control of a horse to make a ride check at <laughs> advantage. <laughs> okay. At advantage, you say? At advantage. Um, you are, while still at breakneck speeds, um, so you need to going straight. check this a little bit, going straight. Um, but you are going straight on relatively flat terrain. Okay. I got 18. Okay. 18. Okay. Non-natural 20. <laughs> okay. Um, You're just you chilling. You are able yeah, to just... <laughs> uh, keep this pace and you thundering right out the main gate two minutes later. Nice. <clears throat> Instead of 20. <laughs> You have the capybara still right? <laughs> <laughs> I have the loaf! <laughs> uh, where did Fuliar go? Uh, she's still in the pit. building. Fuliar is still in the building. the building. On the floor that still she's like, that exploded. She's like, guys, can I stop holding my breath yet? Um, as you all go thundering out of the gates... You see Valera standing there, <laughs> arms crossed, <laughs> leaning against the uh, wall. <clears throat> Took you long enough. <laughs> Nobody. Has we a just keep going. going. Nobody has a comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody stops. Yep, just, nobody just keep stops. Going. And we just leave her. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll turn around and pat the back of my horse. This is not for you. As we're thundering past. <laughs> She'll shrug and um, teleport. While the back of your like horse. <laughs> side saddle, just nestled. <laughs> like Happy bar, like baby. <laughs> I want to know where you're riding. Are you? Uh, I'm. I'm. Hold, I'm. Hold, Oz I'm like. I'm you like. Are you behind us? I'm, I'm behind Oz. I am like just like. He's like holding on like a girl. Like hold me. Motorcycle. <laughs> Oz is like. You're really hurting my wings. Please stop tugging so tight. I can't. Is your face buried in his wings? <laughs> no, I'm like. That sounds sharp, but like that's <laughs> hurt. Yeah, yeah. His wings are. Literal knives. Daggers. <laughs> so I'm like, what a relic. Behind your apartment. Uh, behind side saddle. I'm look, like, look for every bump in the road so he has to roll for damage. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you all going to keep up this breakneck pace? Question is, which walk. direction did we leave the city? <laughs> uh, out the main gate, um, west. Okay. Towards the, towards the coast. Towards the coast. Yeah. Do we? Do we? <laughs> where did the where did the I mean I wouldn't go? ride breakneck the, the whole where, way but no I'll, I'll slow down to like a trot 
Yeah. So that we can like convert. Or so. yeah. 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 We can still see it, but it's not, like, booming. Yeah. If it's going to spread this far, it'll take a little bit to spread this far. Where, uh, um, where's the enchantment? Actually, all of you make a luck check, please. A luck check. You do not need to spend a luck to do this. Just make a luck check. Twenty-one. Thirteen. Damn, what'd you roll? Sixteen, I have a five in luck. You, you should have, luck, but you only you should have, have more one than luck. one luck. You have four lucks, bro. Oh, I do. I didn't you even have look. I have five luck. total lucks. <laughs> he did add points to it. He just didn't remember. I just didn't added. remember you that I had four lucks. <laughs> but you can re-roll. <laughs> he just wanted to ride on the back of Asa's horse. Apparently, he, he, I did. He hasn't shaved his face in a while. You're... <laughs> you yeah, get that five o'clock point. shadow off. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a little bloody now. It's a little ginger. The nice close, the ginger close beard. shave. It's a ginger beard. Eleven. Uh, Thirteen. Twenty-one. Thirteen. Okay. Um, and now it's got a fourteen. Um, okay. And the wind is in fact blowing to the northeast. <laughs> okay. Nice. Like the nice easy. fun time to be able to use that luck yeah. skill. Is you know like. What way does the wind happen to be blowing? Right. Just Did like you happen to be in the room at a specific time when certain papers were on the But this time it's nice because it means exactly. that the red dust is exactly. not blowing in our... It's just going towards the encampment that... <laughs> they have a bubble up. They'll be fine. Yeah. That's still, like, miles and miles away, though. Is there much in the area? Yeah. I don't think there is. No. Okay. <laughs> Let me say it's just... Yeah, a bunch of birds. <laughs> Farms. <laughs> and, yeah. and Elder yeah. Phoenix is flying around and <laughs> every 30 seconds from now we feel a small little earthquake because the Elder Phoenix is dead. <laughs> and it hit the ground <laughs> of about 50 well, miles I an guess hour. we don't have to fight that. <laughs> well, you were going to fight yeah. it anyways? That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, just the way you said that. It's rude. It's rude. Well, I, How rude? <clears throat> uh, guys, we never got... I don't know if we... Did we send the the people to help back at the island? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> how long? How long has it been? Because we told them to meet us at the. It's been four days. Oh no! At the um, boat, right? Well, <laughs> yeah, we did tell them to send them to the. Shouldn't house. have brought it up. <laughs> that in hey. times of crisis, that hey, shit comes up. You guys up. want a job? <laughs> Cool, you didn't respond fast enough, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Take our job or die. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you got ten hours to reply. If you don't reply, you're so, dead. So, uh, hi guys. Thank you for coming along to be workers. You're never going home. <laughs> you're never going home. I hope you brought your families with you. <laughs> because there ain't nothing back where you came hey, from. <laughs> guess what? If you didn't, I hope one of you guys is a girl. To help you procreate. <laughs> I am not the only one procreating. Okay, I will stab everyone. Um, Captain Rye will be a little bit busy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she got like six months to be on the men. We'll just go to another city and grab some ladies. <laughs> We're going to go grab workers, but no, just grab some ladies. We're going to start the new, <laughs> new population. You're four feet seven. You got some more room to grow. Bag of holding, you go. <laughs> Bag of holding, you go. We got jars of air in there. You'll be fine. Oh, uh, yes, that is the solution. Grab more people to procreate instead of, I don't know, doing anything else. Guys, we're trying to start a valuable business, not not human trafficking. Wait, wait, wait. I got it. I got it. I got it. sure they won't we come have, with us. We have people. We have, willing. we have workers of sight pit. We just go to Delit and get females, and then we just combine them together and be like, look. Your war's over because you've been procreating with a Delit person <laughs> for a an Cypit. And let me tell you, <laughs> you didn't even know that that person was from Delit and that person was from Cypit. And so. we accidentally wipe out all of Delit because the smoke blows Brought all Brought to you by the Galicure Trading Company. <laughs> <laughs> now dealing like in human trafficking. <laughs> Starting a whole new branch of the business. <laughs> our whole our thing is very known for illegal trading, so, so uh, not that kind of trading. We have <laughs> professionals have standards. How fast? Can yes. You How much running can you pay me? <laughs> <laughs> to keep your mouth shut. How fast can we speed run the Geneva, the Geneva Convention? 
Let's see. Oh, don't tempt me. <laughs> don't tempt me. <laughs> Civilian bear. <laughs> Oh, well, so what, what what kind of convention is this? This is like this I mean, honestly, like the Oppen convention, or what is this like world convention? I mean, honestly, like? tell you the truth, they have their own chicken. Bone. Yeah, we own. were trying to eradicate the poison. And we eradicated. Oh, we weren't the, we one weren't the ones who did who it. Dropped. If we're pointing any fingers, it was the Grandmaster or the General. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't knock it. We're pointing head. fingers. It was her. <laughs> yeah. They were the one who tried to Eldritch Bolt it to explode in his so, hand. History is yep. known for erasing particular events. We just leave that part out. <laughs> Thank you. And be like, hey, he dropped he it dropped in an series of events. Oh, that's happened. on me, is, man. I'll be his side pad aligned, right? Again, is it side pad we or erase that part it's from the book. Okay, so we'll... we'll it's fine. Pointing fingers. We'll side pad. <laughs> we just the like, pictures write the history books. We just we'll be like, just... you know... Big fire. I mean, nobody really gonna know what happened. So we are the truth tellers in this story. Exactly. We just got some horses. We left, and then all of a sudden there was a fire. How that happened? I don't know. We just targeted so the giants. What happened? No giant attack. Heading to a big hole. I don't know, guys. Meteors. <laughs> meteors. <laughs> Siphon is, is known for meteors, so yeah, I mean, several clearly hit, several hit the capital like a week ago, man. Exactly. Like it's starting to get like it unusual. <laughs> just blame this guy. It's the It's the god. You're the god. god. There is one wizard who just goes around a meteor ring. <laughs> it is his job. <laughs> the master meteorologist. <laughs> Can I get an ability where if I look at a map of the entire nation of Saipan, I can just go, <laughs> Meteor, Meteor, and just point my finger and cast no, it? No, no, you need to bring your smartphone to do that. You're just the master meteorologist. I can meteorologist. find that with Shadow Reach and just extend. <laughs> with his, uh, what is it, your thing of ages or, or your thousand lifetimes? What's yeah. it called? Memory of a thousand lifetimes? Yeah, can I just combine that to enhance <laughs> that ability? <sighs> Okay. Right. We, just, so, we just erased that part from me. You all are at a at a minor trot now. A few leagues from uh, the city. So where's the bowl? Um, <clears throat> yeah, it must have been really hard for you guys to hold your breath while you're carrying that ball. <laughs> I'm a big person. I'll say you left it outside when you and you picked it back up and we'll say Captain Barra and ball. <laughs> I'm riding with my legs. Really good knee strength. Really good knee strength. Really good. <laughs> so, you know how I rolled like a 33 on my ride? So did you yep. give the ball no, to Valera and I'll just tell her to hold on to it? Oh. She's riding sa- side saddle. Edom's got thunder thighs of the the best of kind. It's just gripped. He's really thin up top. He hasn't missed leg day ever. Oh, no. <laughs> Boom! That man is leg day. <laughs> His one thigh is that thick. His horse is actually panty because you're squeezing <laughs> Flex every, you can see every muscle, every vein, every. Uh, do we want to stop and see what we... What we might want to check on e horse. It might pass out. <laughs> the amount of weight it we, has on it right We gotta now. figure out where the hell our weapons went. We lost the that, sword and the staff. That's what I was the ball. Yeah, we should we pull to a to... stop so we can. I'll yeah, take the capybara. <laughs> there you go. Sling him and go over the back of the horse. <laughs> I just want to make, like, two gigantic... Li- like, you know how, like... Like, like sleeping rolls, just, like go on the bottom of backpacks. Like, we just need one for Ringo, just like on the bottom of a pack. He just sits there and sways. Backpack hammock. Yep, exactly. <laughs> All right, yeah, I think we should pull to a stop. Okay. Um, I want to look behind us and see, but there is. <laughs> you weren't very aerodynamic, but you probably still led. <laughs> you know, they're just now flexing with the ball. So how how did you motion for her to teleport to the back of your horse? Because you originally said you pointed. Yeah. yeah. Right there. <laughs> this way. <laughs> no, I just, I just Gun lead show. the ball down and curl <laughs> back out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's right over there. <laughs> I'm really glad your horse leans to the left as it's running. It can't keep straight. It's a good thing we bring that up, and now we lower the capybara. <laughs> oh, losing sway. Oh, God. 
All right, so you all have stopped now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll look in the ball and see where you have at. Ringo again. <clears throat> yep. Does Ringo have any adverse effects from not holding the breath? None that you see at the moment. What about would they, they have emailed any? Us? Uncertain. They were outside <laughs> the entire time. Were they outside the room or outside the building? She outside was the outside building. the building. Cool. Yeah, I made sure they <laughs> were outside the building. I thought you meant outside the room and I'm no. like... No. <laughs> no. Yeah, she was outside the building. So, might have been safe. Uncertain. Certainly not showing any effects at the moment. Okay. Definitely Would should keep an eye on all really of us. Would kill off a capybara that's been in the talks for four years? Bunga no. Don't Sus- tempt him. The suspense is killing him. <laughs> I'd be killing Ringo here so too. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, but forces of humor, forces of humor. (laughs) Uh, Use this crying bowl. Look at the enchanter man's. Enchanter dwarf. No. No. I want to look behind us while he's doing that. Okay. You uh, you look behind you, um, and you can still see. Opping City out there in the distance. Mm-hmm. Um, Can we just call or it at least Opping the smoke? flames that um, the pillar of smoke? Yeah, and and the vast <clears throat> pillar of smoke. What kind of it? looks like outside? It's actually very foggy and hazy out there right now. Yeah, really? Yep. Yeah, it's been crazy all day like that. Um, <laughs> if you listen quiet, you can hear the screams of all the people burning. It is a oh, reddish right. tint in the smoke. You said wisdom? Yes. I'm gonna... Five. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. <laughs> I thought you said five. Twenty-five. <laughs> it's like, damn, <laughs> son. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, you look down, and it kind of zooms up above where you're at right now and then goes up higher and you can see a trail following the road that you all are currently on Orville strike incoming <laughs> and uh, you see it leads to a mountain range not too far away probably 6-7 hours um, <coughs> decent ride right on horseback Six, seven hours on horseback? Yeah. <clears throat> Damn, he moved quick. How long were we away from the town? Like two days? Yeah. Two, two just over two days. Took us two days to get to, or a day yeah. to get to there. Fucker we left right and traveled yeah. to the little city or to the little hut, and then we went back. The, do I see the path go any into the mountains? Do I see any specifics? It, it does go into the mountains. Um, and, and it looks like it stops pretty quick. Close in the mountains, it doesn't go into the mountains, but. <laughs> well, let's go get our. I have a path, let's go. Yeah. Let's do it. Right. So, Those this. What time of day is it? Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, it's um, like morning, I think. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. So, we'll get there by all night. Evening. Yeah, early evening. Do we have to sprint on the horse? Can we just do it? No, so just that. Fair ride, not any kind of. Food. I think we should take a pause and eat a little bit of food before we go. You might want to take a rest. Eat. Maybe not. I don't know if I want to take a full rest, but I think can a short break not might eat not while you're ready. We can. It's just I don't know. We haven't had a rest since last two nights ago or so. It was no, not we camped, last night. We the camped night out. Before. We camped out before we went into the hut. Did we do a full camp yes, out? Yes, we did. Oh, okay, because we had. Shifts and we kept watching the birds up above, right. and then, then we headed back to the city. Okay. We've had a very busy morning. <clears throat> yes. Um, also, since we'll call that the end of a combat, um, you all can regain health and power points equal to your recovery skill. <coughs> Why that recovery skill is so useful. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So you all are uh, 
heading along the road, yet you, you eat a little. You can kind of take a short rest while this is happening. Um, <coughs> and uh, you all arrive just outside the mountain range. How far in was the, did the path to be? Not very far. It looked like it kind of went in and then broke away from the uh, um, the trail. <coughs> I'll take another look at the path. Rising up from right about where it was, you see a large, brightly colored bird with rider on its back. Oh, God damn it. And then fly off to the north. This was not in the ball, or this was in the ball? Nope, that's what we think you guys just see. Oh, that's out of it. I'll go to where they took off from. <coughs> yeah, I think that would be a good idea. You all, uh... Wait, can I still see him? Uh, yeah. I can think into his brain. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. I can see him. It's no distance except sight. Yep. Okay, so I have a question. Before you do that, would that be considered part of the... Does he know that you're doing that when you do that? Look into his brain. I'm speaking into his brain. I'm not looking into his brain. So wouldn't that technically be kind of a breach of your contract that you would have with him? Well, I'm going to get it mad at him for breaching the contract by messing with our stuff. Right. Did we not have a deal? And which deal might you be talking about? What oh. have I breached? Messing with you. I don't remember the exact wording, sorry. We don't know that this is the same dude, though. Elf sounds the same. <laughs> that I will not approach, speak to, interfere with your effort, try to capture, touch, or harm. I am, in fact, Flying away from you, therefore, interfering, not approaching, interfering, was not speaking to until you spoke to me, and not interfering with your effort as I am flying away. Also, since flying away, not trying to capture, too far away to touch, and I don't believe I am actively harming you as I am flying away. Interfering with our effort. And how might I have been doing that? Do you happen to have a sword and a staff in your possession? Yes. Picked up from one. Not the ones that belonged to you. Ah. I would only have to assume. I'm gonna go kill that dwarf. (laughs) You're back. Have to go kill a dwarf. (laughs) Enjoy. Thanks. As he keeps (laughs) flying away. BRB, gotta go kill a dwarf. Be right back. BRB. AFK, gotta go kill a dwarf. Back to keyboard. <laughs> Gonna kill a dwarf. Um, so, you guys step foot into the mountain range. And, Felix. Uh oh. Da da da. In your head, you hear an audible gasp. <sighs> you don't get out of there. <laughs> Your thoughts? <laughs> to what? To him say, Edom, get out of there. Aren't we all in the mountain range? <laughs> Why, what am I getting out of? <laughs> Uh, never mind. <laughs> uh, sorry, wrong number, wrong number. <laughs> Did you just put that on me? <laughs> <laughs> but how did you put that on my brain? What? <laughs> you know, I'm just reeling in the corner like, what the... You hear in your head. Oh, that's Are disturbing. referring to the dwarf? Or somebody No. Else? 
something far more interesting. <coughs> Salut. Something far more what? Interesting than some pitiful little dwarf. Who? <laughs> Mm, you'll see. <clears throat> <laughs> Which direction is he? Oh, you're about to go find him. Right. Should I tell the others or just leave this to myself? Eh, up to you. All right. <laughs> one of the zero and that twenty. You know, if you roll all twenty-five sets of d20s, statistically, at least one of them should roll a net twenty. <laughs> statistically, <laughs> you think. <laughs> And inevitably, you'll throw at least three nat ones. <laughs> I'll keep that information on myself for now. Okay. Oh, look, there's one nat one. And two thirds of them are going to be under ten. You guys in your numbers. <laughs> my so do we? My the rest of us see anything as we're walking into this mountain range? Not at the moment. Okay. But you then are you still riding the horses, or are you getting off the horses? I think we should get off the I horses. Mean, what's how big is the path? I mean, at the moment, it's a standard path, but you're about to get off the path. Okay, yeah. Are we, I mean, are we trying to be somewhat stealthy? Because horses... Probably not a bad idea. Trotting might be... Yeah, I think we should find a good spot to leave the horses. Do we want to tie them off so we can pick them up again? That Probably. Would be, then that we would don't be. have to pay for horses. That would be an <laughs> ideal situation. <clears throat> that would be. And these are, you know, four horses. Yeah. Not just, you know, little pack horses. Right. Uh, we should make sure we find a place where they can, like, eat, but... <laughs> <laughs> They're not quite streak versus trickle bad, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Poor trickle. <laughs> it's horse from our last campaign. <laughs> Didn't we leave him tied up for, like, two weeks? Yeah, we did. <laughs> that poor damn horse. Uh... It was a little longer than two weeks. Yeah, because we were in the underdark for a while. Yep. Hi. Like two months. Say hi. <laughs> I had to get him on camera at least once. Oh. All right. So you all turn off the path, and you walk for another little bit up a hill, and you come to arise, and you are looking down into a pretty little valley with very steep-sided walls around it. There's a nice pond in the middle, uh, some beautiful foliage and trees, and it's very green. Um, You do see the dwarf in question down there. <laughs> you also see five armored individuals. And you see an Empyrean. Edom, you've met a couple of Empyreans. These are the guardians of the deities. Typically quite natural to the uh, Dawn Realm. Um, these are celestial giants. Most of them fall under the lawful good alignment. The rest are almost always neutral evil. Um, yeah. They're, you know, two out of every ten are neutral evil and everything else is... What was that? How many were there? Six. Total of six people. The dwarf, five soldiers, and the Imperian. Oh, sorry. Seven. And in the lake, chained down, you see an enormous Oh no. Oh hello. It's chained down. Of what type? Well it's blue. Not a type that you have seen before. What color? It has four wings, unlike the standard two that you're used to. It 
scales seem to be glinting back and forth between blue and black, a deep blue and a black. Um. Oh, that's a person. So I've never seen this race before? You've never seen this race before. So it wouldn't be overruled? <clears throat> I mean, you, you could you could still try to make a knowledge check to try to, you know, gather bits of information. Um, make sure you get rid of Hawthorne. On it. Cool. I'll try to, yeah, do that. <laughs> and okay. do memory of a thousand lifetimes. Go ahead. Yeah, just because it's not a type that you're familiar with doesn't mean that there isn't still information you could glean while looking at it. Twenty-two? Okay. Um, well, this dragon definitely looks old. Um, but not decrepit old, but old. Um, this is also the largest dragon you've ever seen. Um, and you've known a couple of the dragons in your lifetime. Um, it definitely is not one of the chromatic dragons, so it definitely is not a, um, a blue or a black dragon, as you would typically think of it. Um, it, uh, it looks very powerful. And uh, you're betting that that phoenix may have had something to do with uh, why it is chained up right now. Is, is there any information I could maybe lean from Volkus to see if she knew anything about this, you know, deities and dragons and all that. If that's even possible. Yeah, I mean, you can ask. I'm just gonna... Have you ever seen anything like this? I've never seen a dragon, but I've... You know. Like this. I've seen him. Who, who, who's... Who's him? You know, big, big, tall, and scary over there. Yes. <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> the Empyrean. Uh, mm. One of a dime a dozen Empyreans. But that dragon, I know him. When you're talking to Volkus, this is in your head, right? Mm Mm-hmm. He, uh... To be captured like this was definitely... (laughs) Salute. A... Monumental accomplishment of whoever captured him. And then she falls silent. I'm just still staring like dumbstruck. How far away from the group are we? Um, you're you're a good uh, hundred feet right now. Close Dragon awake. Thereish. Dragon awake. Um, you can't tell if awake and just not moving or asleep. Uh, and what are the people doing? They they seem to be talking, and the Empyrean is inspecting the chains. I would like to ask the staff, friend or foe? Dragon? Friend. Is this who you're talking about? Yes. <laughs> Do you know him? Yes. What's his name? His name is not pronounceable in your tongue. So we're going to call him Bob. I believe you would best call him 
Garibor. So Gary for short. I call him Daddy. G E R E B R. G E R E B R. Kind of wish I could hear what's going on inside between that staff and staff and I've got so many questions. <laughs> Now, what kind of daddy are we talking about? Is it daddy or daddy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. You're dealing with the staff here, my friend. you got to touch that all over the place. down the hill towards the party. All right. Yeah. Yeah, might as well. We're going to probably have to play nice and not... Us play nice. Okay, nice, sir. <laughs> right. Let's talk you about the within the bottom. first five seconds. The, yeah. Uh, and they all turn to face you, and the Empyrean straightens himself up to his uh, full 80 um, foot height. Hey, man. Long time no see. God. Damn, you're tall. A lot of us are from that place. What? <laughs> same, same home. Uh, what? Yes, that's me. Ah. Huh. Foolish child, Dave. Eh, I've given up on going home. <laughs> Do not meddle where you are not needed. Oh, Go nobody home. needs me anyway. No, I'm good. Uh, we sort of need that door. We need that dairy. <laughs> home doesn't want me. You have, have you heard I've been exiled? <laughs> I'm just going to look at... you want it's a dwarf? Uh, he stole from us. He does have some I items. I have of no idea what you're talking about. As the staff is slung across one shoulder <laughs> and the sword is on the other. Yeah, it's going to need that staff and sword on your the back. Things on the things nice on his to back are... Him into are telling us. Try. Let's try. Let's walk in, just like all right, just slowly unbuttoning, like all right, motherfucker. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's like hold my race. Persuasion uh, against the <laughs> Imperium. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you don't like into your brain, <laughs> rude. Asshole. <laughs> That's a 20. Hey, you're really having a conversation. I'm going to look at, like, Dick, you invited me. <laughs> 18, you said? That's a 20 for a 32. All right. Jesus. Coupled with seduction. Very persuasive. Both Very persuasive. The silver fox and the seductress. <laughs> paired together with weird. Silver Fox and the Seductress. That's, like, that's the dynamic duo right there. there. Dark Summoner. And he will, uh, Dark Summoner. Raise hand. And bring it straight down on the dwarf's head. Oh my god! <laughs> is, that, is that dwarf pancake now? <laughs> um, there is now. And raises it back up. There is now a puddle. That's where the dwarf is. I'm just gonna like. <laughs> I'm gonna gag a little. I'm gonna gag a little. Like, oh. Oh, That's man. how he gets his rocks off. He smashes dwarfs. So it was successful. Don't count this as a failure. It was still a successful seduction. Gwen. Thank you. Thank you, friend. That was. So much uh, blood for one day. Slowly approach his body? I wanted to know what he knew about the fucking items before we killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Methinks the thing over there might know. I guess that's fair. <laughs> Do you know about the items he was carrying? He was identifying them for us. Nor do I care. Fair enough. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Smash no. things, ask questions. Let's smash things first, ask questions later. Metal no more. I'll pick up the stack of the sword. <laughs> Any of you? No, no. Cool. We're good to go. I'll ask the what? Five, four remaining guys standing around. Well, 
didn't Rashad just have something to do with this? And yeah. Isn't he kind of our enemy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I kind of want to release the dragon. Since we got one vote for releasing the dragon. So. Who's, oh, is that as or one of them? Yeah. Okay. The, the dragon is, is a friend. That's Felix. Oh, the dragon's a friend. Then we should definitely release the dragon. That's, that's what the like crazy lady in my head how. how to <laughs> we know you're crazy. We're just <laughs> <dragons> <laughs> a friend. It's fine. I mean, how big are these chains we're talking? I'm assuming if 80 foot tall Imperian is inspecting them, these are some pretty beefy chain links. Um, so, you know, chain links are an, an oval. Um, well, one side of that oval is the size of Edom. Oh. <laughs> so you have one Edom, you have two Edom, and you have like three quarters of an Edom. And another three quarters of the need hum. You're really flexible, man. <laughs> <laughs> and you can be a multiple. You know those ring performers? <laughs> so this guy. Yep. Eat hum so late. Yep. <laughs> what are you all doing with this dragon? It is my prize. For? For me. I don't think I can. Yeah, what think did this you might do take to one, get maybe a prize? Two to cut, you know, just one or two. <laughs> oh, I assisted in its capture. Was there a reason for capturing it? Yes. I plan to kill it and eat it. Dragon cuisine, nice. <laughs> That's a lot of food. That'll feed you for like years. He's 80 feet tall, probably feed for like two <laughs> years. This dragon is like. 400 feet tall. Look how beefy he is. <laughs> He's got to give up a lot of calories, bro. <laughs> that's at least, dragon is that's, also... That's at least big. a thousand calorie diet, minimum. <laughs> <laughs> you mean 10,000? <laughs> I say Dwayne the Rock Johnson times 10. <laughs> yeah. By a factor of 10. I mean, you got to also remember how much of that lead is, meat is lean and fat. And <laughs> So did you tell us the name that the staff said, or did you keep that to yourself? I, I, I have not. The only thing I ever laid to you is that he's a friend. Staff is okay. he's a friend. Okay, just make sure. I didn't even tell you that was from the staff. I just said he's a friend. And we said okay. <laughs> just making sure so I got my stuff. Two votes to free the dragon. Okay. Well, what are the other? I asked the other people a question. <laughs> if they knew what the magic. <laughs> They're were. probably not going to talk. Oh. They don't want to get squished. <laughs> they could have just. Shake their heads. No. No. No idea. Do you guys want to leave? What's your favorite color? <laughs> what is your quest? <laughs> <laughs> What's the capital of Assyria, damn it? <laughs> Do you think the red mist would work on the Imperium? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Attack on Titan music plays in the background. <laughs> Do you also want to kill the dragon? Dragon, hold your breath. <laughs> Just for about five Hi. hours while we slowly break away a chain. <laughs> I mean, well. When are you planning on killing this thing? Hmm. Almost now. And what is the method by which you were butchering it? <laughs> Grabs an enormous two-handed maul off his back. The, the head of which you could put two horses next to each other and you would have the front half. Oh. Uh. Of the head. And then you have the back calf, which is longer with a curved spike. You could do two and then one horse. So you got a <coughs> five horsepower hammer? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good way to spend it. <laughs> How big is her bicep? his biceps? Horse, horse <laughs> measurements, please. How many horsepower is his bicep? <laughs> 
Uh, each bicep is definitely a, a, a solid horse torso power. So totally seven horsepower. <laughs> That's at least 11 llama thrust if I've ever seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I hmm. crush. Well, like, doesn't that ruin the meat? I crush the brain. The brain is where the most nutrients are. Eh. Don't you want to grow bigger? Get stronger? Heart is better. More power. Now, I tire of words. <laughs> Please. Leave in peace. Or puddle. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> or, or puddle. attack. <laughs> Are we just gonna turn around and leave? <laughs> Are we going with the break the dragon out? Free the dragon option here? Yes. Yeah. I mean that's a powerful ally to have. <laughs> Imperium friend. Not an ally, but get a favor from I mean that too. Or that. <laughs> Cracking your knuckles over there? Yes, obviously. <laughs> No, I'm popping the popcorn now. Sawdust, sawdust. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, if that's what we're going to do, on that note, um, Azazel will leap forward and use hammering blows on the Imperium. I'm gonna summon some bitches. <laughs> um. <clears throat> 28 versus armor. We'll miss. Oh, oh shoot. No, let's not go against armor. Sorry. 38 versus armor. We'll miss. Holy crap, Muffin. Why is all my stuff against armor? Jesus. Um. <laughs> oh, God. 35 against armor. We'll miss. Uh. Well, this sucks. And then that 20 will hit. <laughs> and hmm. as it carves against the skin. <laughs> um, oh, actually, there was another crit in there because his crit range is 18 to 20. Oh, good. So he definitely uh, critted twice on that, actually. Oh, good. Same. Um, I have one thing that's, that's oh, not work. So do I. Why is so much against armor? <laughs> so between the two, that'll be 86 points of magical enhanced martial damage. Yeah. And it will just glance off his skin. I would like to black fire. Azazel's going to take a couple steps back as the Imperium just stares you all down. <coughs> ah, we got you! <laughs> Lady and gents, I believe um, the term we fucked <laughs> may be At the moment. Um, Should we, uh... That was my big one. Break the chain, have the dragon out. Yeah. I've never had this sword not be able to cut. <coughs> As, <coughs> so I'm just going to point to the chain like... <coughs> well, yeah, that, that seems like a potentially valid idea. discord. <laughs> the chain, not the person. Um... How many chain point? How many points are like? Well, on points this are side of the dragon, you see thirty. Okay. Well, that's boy. That's fine. <laughs> if you break one, more might fail though. You might be able to yeah. start moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cascade. Well, the of dragon points. is asleep. 
Is that what you said? We don't know. Oh, no, no, sure. Okay. <laughs> it's either asleep or awake and just not moving. Okay. Um, can I move to there? I don't have control of my character. So, yeah. I'm keeping us to an hour and a half, and we okay. were... Yeah, I'm watching the time. At which point, you hear an echoing boom from mm-hmm. over here. It's a very loud echo. It's from all around you right now. So there's no way to, I'm assuming based on that, there's no way to pinpoint the sound. You look around, you don't see anything. You look up. see coming over <laughs> the hill. Excuse me. No shot. <laughs> Mariah. Excuse me. <laughs> As a massive magic-infused cannonball <laughs> strikes the Imperium in the back. Artillery strike on coordinates. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Perfect. This this looks really familiar to the, the the skeleton galleon that we fought or attempted to get away from on one Sunday night. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's going on, then boom, <laughs> right there. And with two hundred and sixty points of damage, <laughs> he'll stumble forward. And you see some smoke rising up from his back. A rope drops down. That's what that symbol was off the side of the map. And <laughs> sliding down off it. Now you know who the last one was that we were talking earlier to. Captain down Ryan. <laughs> and that throw one for today. Thanks for watching our Pillars of Cypatia video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and feel free to check out our other campaign going on right now, the Library of Taba. We're a pretty great group over there, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in both places. Thanks for watching again. Tune in next time.